You guys have set some targets for yourself in terms of what you're going to do on the sustainability side. Bearing in mind that, like you said, the, the common consumer may or may not care, and you're doing this perhaps as a responsibility to the world around you, but you've said that you're going to be water positive uh, in 2025. Yeah, you're yeah. carbon neutral, I think, this year. Yeah, and in 2011, we set some of these goals. We reached most of them, correct? Um and and but can I just just step back from that? I think there's a there's a there's a design to product also that matters, correct? So, you know, as consumers move say from something like bar soap to hand wash, like we've launched this product called Magic Hand Wash, which is fifteen rupees. It's a powder to liquid, so I only transport the powder, not the you know ninety percent of water in it, and you make it by reconstituting it. So these are solutions, yeah, Mr. Magic. And this has a lower sort of footprint than a bar soap, correct? But it's giving people more hygienic. So this, 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 Sandeep, we should be able to do across categories, correct? And actually, it's up to companies. You know, we all like to talk about our best selves and not our true selves. Mm -hmm. But my thing is we should really you know, really be almost saying that, you know, this is a green category, this is an amber category, and this is a red category, correct? Mm -hmm. Some of it based on sustainability, some of it based on consumer health, some of it, you know, being a bit more holistic in our thinking. So what was the thought behind Mr. Magic born out of how do we make a more sustainable product? Or was it what, what, what drove the it was more it was more born out of how do you do disruptive pricing. Yeah. But if you think of disruptive <laughs> pricing, it means taking everything out that you don't need. Correct? Which is the wa- you don't need to transport water around, which makes it more sustainable. See, there is gonna be a look, there is a there, there's no question there is a green premium, correct? For and how you make or if you're using a lot of renewable energy and stuff. So it is, if you have to be very competitive and only one company is doing a certain thing, it can be, you know, it, it, and, you know, you also have investors and shareholders. So I think some of this is going to have to be sort of, and I wouldn't like government actually to regulate it. Um, maybe in some cases they, they, they need to, but, you know, industry bodies themselves self-regulate some of these things and say, you know, we are going to move our industry in this way.